Right, I thought I'd do a quick update. It's only going to have to be a very quick film because I can't get this enough signal to upload a long film. I have got all the documentation from when I left the house to now, but it takes up too much um, air time for me to upload. I've tried to upload it and it took a whole 24 hours just to load 30% here, so I can't do a big film. Anyway, at the moment, the hens are all free, living in this amazing piece of land here. There's a stream that runs along the edge where all those trees are, so there's a boundary. They won't go past there. Plus, Amy doesn't go past there because it's got brambles that have been cut down and it's very prickly, so she doesn't, she won't wander very far because she doesn't like the prickles under her feet. So I've been given the permission to stay here by the owner. He's obviously built this here just for people to come and stop, but I've been given permission. I can't get the van on the field, but I don't need to. It's in a sheltered place here. The noise is a generator that I've got. Just quickly show you. So here's the generator. I'm just charging up my laptop and phone at the moment. Got the uh, chair. Gary's got a poo box there, but I only, it doesn't normally live there. It's just there because it it sits on the generator in the in there for, at the, when I'm storing it. Uh, this is my little living area. I took the front seat out and I converted it into a cup. I put a cupboard, a cabinet, and I put doors on it and strengthened it. Um, that was an old bathroom unit with had baskets in it, but they were flimsy and two are no good so I made some drawers to go in that so the baskets that there was two baskets left and they are here because uh, this is where Alice and Felicity sleep at night they look so cute in those baskets uh, my privacy is curtains is my flags this is my bed and it's a bit chilly at the moment so we've got quilts and blankets and all sorts Amy's happy aren't you darling and I've done the converted the back to the for the hens. Um, just excuse me. So they've got made two nesting boxes down here, and they've got dust baths here, feeding water, just areas to perch on. So they've all been quite happy. We've been living here now. This is our third week in the van, but it's our first week at this piece of land. I bought this off eBay to put around the van. It makes a brilliant, uh, stops Amy going off in the hens. So I love this. It's quick and temporary, uh, you know, a temporary fencing and I can take it with me. So that's great. Water. I've had a lovely fire here. This was something I found in a skip some time ago and I thought it'd come in useful and it certainly has. It's brilliant for cooking on at night. I don't have the fire going until all the hens have gone in though because obviously I don't want them burning themselves because they're too inquisitive. But the hens are absolutely thrilled to bits. They love this place. They're wander around it's been sunny for the last few days but it's turned really cold just lately um well, oh jock went to a couple um ooh, ages ago now i can't remember when when i last posted on facebook within a week of that post not on facebook on youtube the last the last post about jock being in prison uh, a week after that a couple came from a village few miles away and picked him up he he's all right he is so he's found a home and these are much happier without him oh the quails the quails have got an empire down here they live down here under here they've got this big space down here underneath the bed plus this bigger area here in front of it so they've got uh feed in there and water here and all that area to run about in they're great they've got more space than any of us if 
for their size. Hello, Dave. Icky Dave. Yep, so that's how we're living at the moment. So it was a quick update and I shall post eventually the big one that shows, documents everything from when I left the house. But at the moment, this is where we're living and it's lovely.